in this video, I will show you how to edit my updated memory game in PowerPoint. I've added a scoring system and a way to remove cards that have already been paired. And once you find a pair, you click on the name of the player who has found the pair and click on one of the cards. This will remove the cards from the playing field and add a star under the name of the player. This actually took very long to make and the file has more than 350 PowerPoint animations. I hope that you like it and find it useful. First, you want to download the file from the Dropbox folder in the description. A quick warning before editing. Because there are a lot of animations in the file, the file can feel quite slow. Refrain from using the animation step as much as possible. You shouldn't really have any problems when this step isn't opened. To edit the cards, you want to open up the selection pane. Go to Home in the ribbon and click on Arrange. Here, you click on the selection pane. There are 16 objects in the selection pane with the name Tile. Tile 1 refers to the first tile, and Tile 16 refers to the last tile, etc. To edit the tile, you click on the tile in the selection pane, and then you can edit it. Because there are invisible objects above the cards, you can directly edit them. If these invisible objects are removed, the animation and the game won't work properly. If you want to change the back of the cards, you want to look in the selection pane and look for the shape back. The numbers refer to the same as the tile shapes. To change the position of the cards, you want to select a tile group. A tile group consists out of four shapes that are stacked onto each other. Select the group by dragging your mouse over it. And now you can move it around. If you do not select all four shapes, the game won't work properly. To change the name of the players, simply click on the names and change them. To change the background, you want to right click on it. You want to click on change picture and insert your own picture. To change the shape of the scores, which are by default stars, select all stars by dragging your mouse over it and go to shape format in the ribbon. Here, you click on edit shape and change shape. As an alternative, you can use a less functional but easier to edit version of this memory slide, which is also provided in the same file. Memory cards that have already been paired can be removed, but you can still click on the player's name, adding a point under their name. And there you have it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I hope this video helped, consider subscribing and I will see you next time.